So this is where we left off last time. So what we want to do now is get in here and finish off these forearms. I'm going to hit control and space to zoom out. For that I'm going to need a cylinder. So if you hit shift and A and you go ahead and add a cylinder, what we can do is in our view over here I'm going to press 1. I'm going to press um, T to hide that side panel and N to hide this panel over here. And I'm just going to place it in the front. Now what might make it easier, let's turn off uh, wireframe in this view. So let's go to display here, let's see, turn off wireframe. I'm going to hide this front anatomy, um, not the, I'm sorry, I'm going to hide this model, the male anatomy model, just so I can really focus in on this cylinder here. All right, so let's hit R, just kind of rotate it a little bit this way, and then S to size it and scale it down. I'm going to place it in the middle here, and then I'm going to press S. And then what you can do is if you press, for example, X, you'll notice that a line appears, and it's going to scale it on its width. I'm going to right-click to deselect that. And then if you push S and then Z, you can scale that out a little bit like that. Let's go to our, I'm going to press 3 to go to our side view here. Same sort of situation. I'm going to press R to rotate that and just rotate it a little bit like that. Now, uh, if I turn on my view here, and I make this a 1 so we can see that, I can kind of watch it take shape as I start to shape it from each axis. So what I'd like to do on this view, let's kind of give ourselves a little bit of space here, is let's bring this back by pressing N. I'm just going to remesh this. And then let's go into our control tab and our sculpt mode. And uh, I'm going to just hit G. Now let me reopen this side panel so that we can see um, how I continually, like how I'm shaping this out and which brushes I'm selecting. So I just want to do this, and I'm actually going to leave the top a little bit wider. And the reason for that is because I want it to intersect my model. So you can see here, I want my bicep to kind of fit inside of there. So I'm going to constantly sort of be shaping this, pulling it down, and then I will, when I go to Boolean this, I'll be able to uh, uh, um, when I go to boolean this, I'll have that little bit of extra geo for it to attach to, and then I can just dine topo that. Um, so let's hide the model again. Let's kind of move these guys in. And we're just looking for a rough shape here that goes up to the wrist. So something like that is actually good. And uh, a little bit wider, like I set up in the top here. Let's press 1. Let's bring this out a little bit more. And I'm just going to... If I've got a nice axis there, let's bring this guy back. Looks good. Now what I'd like to do is in object mode, so I'm going to hit control and tab and go over to object mode. I'd like to mirror this across to the other side, apply that mirror, and then do the boolean. So kind of what we've done before. So I'm going to go to my modifier tab here, and I'm going to go to um, mirror. I'm going to select my character here as my mirror. And then I'm just going to hit a hit the apply. And then I'm going to jump down to my male anatomy model and make sure that this is also an object mode, which I can tell off to the side it is. I'm going to add a modifier, and that is the boolean. And I want to do union, and this time I'm going to select that forearm. Now, notice I'm going to turn off this forearm here, and you can see that we do have it working because here's my male anatomy model and it has that attached. Once I um, once I go ahead and sort of remesh this, or I, like I said, I could even use Dine, Dine Topo for this. I think I want to go back in and clean up all these extra body parts that I've created. So um, let's go ahead and turn on Dine Topo. So Control Tab to go into Sculpt Mode. And to clear up that area, I'm actually just going to turn this on. But what I'm going to do is smooth it out. So. It looks like that didn't apply. Let's see why that didn't apply. I think it didn't apply because I don't think I hit apply. So let's see. Here's our modifier tab. Yeah, I never hit apply. There we go. So let's try that one more time. Control tab, sculpt mode. We forget these things. And then um, let's try that again. Dine topo. There we go. And let's see. Let's hit shift C here just so we can see. If I'm holding shift to smooth this out, and let's bring up clay, you can see that it's doing that. Now, 
we want to make sure that we also have symmetry on at the bottom. We don't want to make that mistake. So I'm going to hit control space here. Yeah, you can see it's updating on both sides. As I'm holding shift, it's adding geo. I don't know if you can see that. And then as I'm hitting C for my clay tool, it's it's adding uh, very it's adding a lot of really good geometry there that we can use. So shift Z back again. All right, so let's take a look at knocking out this forearm, right? Now, we're not going, like, notice, like, in the last video, I was saying that the tricep, which is three, uh, you're looking at two elements, right? You're really kind of seeing two major masses here, right? So it's the same thing with the forearm, right? Like, when we look at this, there is a muscle that wraps all the way from the side here down to the front that's stabilizing our elbow in place. There's another one here. So really, in order to make a convincing model, you don't necessarily need to sculpt out every single detail of the muscle. It is helpful when you're learning anatomy. So let's take a look at where that muscle is. Do you see this muscle here, this side muscle? Well, watch. I'm just going to go in here, and I'm just going to slowly... It looks like I have layer on and not clay. That's kind of annoying. All right, there we go. Much better. So let's zoom in on that area here. Let's smooth that out a little bit more. There we go. So as I detail that muscle in, I'm just going to go to the front here. Then I'm going to press 3 to go to my side, and I'm just going to finish off detailing that muscle. And I know my forearm's a little bit outside of that, and that's okay. And now that that's there, I'm just going to fill it in. And just like I've been doing in the other videos, I'll go in, fill in that muscle area like this, and then I shrink my brush down. And then just holding shift, I smooth out a little bit. I'm just kind of lightly tapping that area. So there's that forearm muscle. And then what I do, lastly, is let's bring this guy back up. Uh, I just bring my draw brush in and I highlight it by holding control to add that little. Let's make our brush a little smaller. So something like that. Same thing on the side here. All right, let's add in our elbow. So hit, hitting C to bring up my clay. Looking good. A little bit there, a little bit on the side here. And then let's add that in. I just usually just kind of add a knob. When we go, <clears throat> When we go into retopologizing this, excuse me for that. When we go into retopologizing this, um, what we'll do is uh, we actually I create kind of like a quadded out area there, and then I bake out my normal. This uh, by having this in there it helps form out this area. I'm going to create another knob, just like a big knob in here, for the this other part of the forearm. Smooth that out just a little bit, and then just pull it down by sculpting it in. Now, for the rest of the forearm, let's kind of give ourselves a little bit of beef here. All you want to do back here is just add a series of striations in. You can go back and just, you know, like count the number of muscles in there and look at the way the joints connect, which I think is important. But for this, if you're if you're trying to just make a convincing character for your portfolio, this is really great. So and let's take a look at why I'm doing that. Do you see these striations that are coming down, these these looping bands that kind of come into the wrist? We only need to hint at those in order to make it convincing. So you see here, we've got a really, really nice forearm that's pretty convincing. And that's really all you need to focus on is those a few little things. Like I said, these landmarks of the body is what you'll hear a lot of people call them. And there's kind of like your elbow. And I didn't do this either, which I should have is around the elbow, kind of like I was saying about the other stuff, I'm just going to hold control here and I'm going to make the elbow a little more pronounced here, like that. And then I'm going to add those striations. So I think that's, uh, I'm going to save this one off. And I think that's good for now. What we'll do in the next video is finish off the legs and then what I like to do is the hands themselves sort of um, zoomed in on their own chunk and then once I get a, I get a hand really really good then I do the same thing where I kind of like build it out like the forearm